to have the ano the hash no JL Road to Pro. Ayun, para ma mapili kayo. Never forget it, spaghetti. Pero eto na nga, let us go for game number 2, Eruption Squad versus Easy Points. Makakabawi na nga ba sila or Easy Points ang mag-uuwi talaga ng ating pagkapanalo. And as of now, look at the aggression na pinapakita nila. They really want to make them back off onto the middle lane. Pero ginujumong ni Kurt Easy si Chris Redfield. Parang old school pa yun na. Nang grade school pa ako, naikwento na lang sa akin yun, baby. Ah, naikwento na. Oo, oo. Ano yung ending? Ending na lang nakita ko dun eh, yung ano, ikakasal na si Jomo. Ah, okay. Pero dito, being aggressive, ang Eruption Squad protecting their own purple buff against Nav or si Van dito si Gokan. Shoutout ko na lang din yung wife ni Eruption, si Rona Samson. Thank you for the 100 stars. Pero dito, going back, Diba, napilita na lang na mag-flicker away and Kirk Casey will get the purple buff still. Nag-try naman si Kirk. Nag-try, yes. Mag-deny. Pero kita naman natin, talagang eruption squad, di napapayag na matibag. Yes, and as of now, medyo nauna mag-clear ng jungle camp yung eruption squad but the gold lead is still on the hands of Easy Points and to the bottom lane. Mukhang mamamatay si Mira pero makakatakas ang derban. Here comes a follow-up. Oh, there goes the first blood. Look at the damage output na binibitawan ng isang Louie pero Shakur dito, wings by wings, just to try and run away against Lapu-Lapu na talaga namang pumapalag kahit ilan yung katapat niya dun sa bottom lane. Kala ko yung tono mo yung para sa documentary. Ada to nang a, kala ko pa pota do. Hindi. Kapatawin natin Hester Christoph B3 dito on stealing lang naman siya dito. On the other hand, naman sa Gitno versus Jin Tani E. Si sa Gitno guys, ah very confident naman siya na kaya niyang iprotect on linya. Pero same goes naman sa side ng Eruption Squad going in naman sa rotation do sa may bandang middle lane three man versus two man. Nako. Iniiwasan nila dito yung mga nilalagay na vacuum Pero Van with the ejector Gamit dito kay Hesa Crystal So makakatakas lang din naman Dahil malikot Here comes a falling star moon Pero falling star moon Medyo natuling ng very slight Sa gitu Overpredict niya Naopatrick siya no yung uh, kalaban dito which is yung Chopra the Tortilla has been secured by Easy Ports and as of now talaga na papa back away yung side ng Eruption Squad dito knowing na hindi pa nila kaya in terms of damage output ang lineup ng Easy Ports especially with the Esmeralda and this Claude no, na I wanna see the item right now no, 2 minutes 37 uh, into the game 1-0 tayo in favor of Easy Ports yung Claude natin dito wala pa rin namang core item even yung the jungle item niya hindi pa rin namang buo once yung Yeason Shane ngayon pa lang nagkapareho against the Claude pero ito si Cortese Dricado yung kalagayan dito with the Feathered Earth Strike no mapubugaw oh my god there goes the follow up yung Khalid natin out of nowhere coming from top lane talaga nung nasecure yung pangbawi nila with Nav pero makikita naman natin dito sa may bandang Gedli, si Mira na ispatahan si Virus na pilit na tumatakas. Pero sabi ni Ezo Christoph, sige na nga, I will give you salvation na muna dito sa may bandang Gedli. Pababa na rin dito si Mage Dad, Yuji, nakakaramdam kaya dito ang eruption squad ng possible effect. Pero dito, pumasok na agad. Pero yung... Or rather, yung feathered airstrike natin magiging sapat to take him sapat. down. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, they forgot to check the bush bago siya lumapit doon sa gold grab. And ang ganda ng uh, rotation ng Eruption Squad, Maring Athena. They know who to take down first. They know who to shut down first. And I think yung uh, Lapu talaga ang pinaka-priority nila kaysa doon sa Esmeralda natin. I think uh, ang gagawin nila rito, kukuha agad sila ng Deadly Blade para ma doon sa Esmeralda. Whereas yung Lapu kasi kahit mag-Deadly Blade ka or mag-Necklace of Durance ka, yung kakunata niya hindi ganun eh. Hindi doon, hindi yun yung pang-counter. Kailangan talaga mataas yung damage output. Pero auto bottom lane, ejector. Oh, look at the vacuum. The normal attacks coming from Beerus with a flicker combination. Magiging enough to take him down. Shocker won't go down without a shock. Eliminating one hero from the side of esports that is Chris Redfield with the Luoyi. Pero di sa may bandang mid lane na take advantage ni Leon. Yung energy shield natin bro. Rather, Baymax and very evident yan sa naging spike sa network natin. Pero di ito sa Heso Cristo. Look at that! May Holly Hoop na nag-unap doon si Bato Kedi with Beerus. Magiging end na pa siya ng malikot dito yung tune natin. Termaan pa rin naman dito yung Justice Blaze pero hindi pa rin nila matitake down this time. Focusing their part. Oh, to the turret, pero dito sa mga 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 sinasalo, mga feather bears, nagsasalubungan din sa Jin Sanity at magiging enough pa nga. 
It's an overextend para sa side ng Easy Points with Esmeralda. Wise yung Eruption Squad. They're doing really well no sa pag-follow up nila on every uh, team fight na gustong gawin dito ng Easy Points. Talaga nakakabakaway sila. Pero dito with the way of the Dragon securing Chris Redfield is going down onto the hands of Eruption Squad. 5-3 tayo from 0-1. Talagang nakakabawi na sila. Rotation-wise, Eruption, Eruption Squad ang may hawak ng uh, map control natin. Though, hindi full map, no? Yung kumbaga yung riverside sila yung may hawak and kailangan dito gumawa ng paraan ng easy points para makabawi or they're totally going to be dominated by the side of eruption kasi sa bottom lane four members na yung nagka lane pero aabuta uh, dito na raging sasa together with the feathered air strike sila nab nagtakbuha na lang ang sagot pero sabi dito ni Beerus palag palag lang sabi nga ni Leon sige na nga with the blazing ruin pero wave the dragon will be there to save the day and Kiron's fee will be secured by Jin San Kisan Gordon he is just to prevent the regeneration dito the side of esports and even the follow up na binibigyan dito the curse easy with the rest of the game mega kill will be secured with the desert tornado used by Jin San ito talaga namang napapa tornado ang positioning dito ng eSports nagkagulo-gulo sila dito yes. pero si X-Shocker mukhang mali ang ah, nilataga dito na Feathered Air Strike Stoppable Force will be there to stop him from Did aggravating pero dito sa Hesu Christop ay nako sabi niya substitute na ako na ako masyado kayong hot na hot eh oh, so, pero let, let's not forget about the Esmeralda Marangatina yes nakalamang yung Eruption Squad on that very lasting fight sa may middle lane but the Esmeralda nakapag take down siya ng outer turret and ilang minion waves din yung dumaan sa kanya pero mukhang hindi na minion waves ang i-clear out niya kung hindi yung buhay ni Jin Sanity na nakatakas ng dirman using his ultimate the turtle is now being taken by Eruption Squad pero nandito yung 1-1 not actually ng easy ports pero Eruption Squad will try and take away the turtle from the hands Joe with the Jit Kundo will not connect to anyone pero the follow up is here nag-teleport na Chris Redfield on the back place walang vacuum nakodrigado kalagayan niya pero Esmeralda go look at that hinahabon nila dito pili si Leon pero be the BM nako baka-exit pa nga ba no he won't because of every person will be there to save the day and another one will be slain and that is the lapu-lapu na pinugutan sa maktan Baymax at another big objective will be secured by the eruption squad si Van doon wala na rin siyang magagawa kundi panoorin nila habang unting-unting nag scale up dito yung boost of morale ng eruption squad that is 20,000 versus sa 80,000 ng esports may bonus pa nga middle lane turret so now 8 minutes into the game almost 8 minutes into the game 10-4 tayo in favor of eruption kaso hindi pa tapos another team is happening with way of the dragon tapos raging sandstorm pero feathered earth strike is there look at the damage after the BDB tower nila rito Ginsanity is going down pero ang sagot ng eruption squad doon is the second tier turret sa middle lane was yung Esmeralda natin busy busy pa rin nagpa farm sa may bottom lane I think they need to find a way para mapigilan to because as of now item check tayo ng mabilisan before anything happens I want to see the item of the Esmeralda Esmeralda natin having the Calamity Reaper and the Enchanted Talisman. Medyo masakit na to against Eruption Squad while yung Claude natin dito with the Demon Hunter Sword, Lapu-Lapu, Bloodless Axe and Queen Swing sa kabilang banda naman. Ito yung sinabi ko sa kanina about the Deadly Blade being the first item of the Kali the Bloodless Axe on hand. Was yung 1-1, no boots na. Wala nang boots-boots. Diretso na tayo ng Corrosion Site and Demon Hunter Sword. Maring Atina. Napapaisip ako actually kanina doon yung pagpasok ni Johed. Kaya naman pala naka-first item build na immortality siya. Does this give the second chance for esports to stay in the game around Eruption Squad? Noong nagbubuta sila doon sa second line of Ama? middle lane turret dito ng esports. Pero right now, hawak na naman ang esports si map control natin. And Esmeralda just doing Esmeralda is talaga nag-sideway la. Nagpapataba ng gusto kasi later on siya kasi baka kapalag. Pero nalilimutan din dito ng esports, they still have 1-1 against the Claude later on. Na pag nag-online, talaga mga swak na swak, makakaiwas sa mga crowd control nila. Meron po mm -hmm. yung second skill which debuffs or ano, removes all of the CC dito oh. na mabibigyan ng esports. Look at the Leon dito, pumunta Grabe. agad sa pinaka-back row ng eruption Maso squad. Maso sa glimpse, kita naman natin yung nabibigay na pressure and damage ng isang Claude guys with the Blazing Duet DM may out napakabilis mm -hmm. parang parang siya 
Nagparamdam lang, ginose ka na. Parang ginose, pagpasok mong Claude. Pero right now, the Lord is being taken by Easy Force. And this is going to be a free Lord. Para sa kanila, since most of the members ng Eruption Squad nandun sabi sila trying to defend their base, whilst yung Esmeralda is going to try and follow up Mountain Shocker just to make sure kung nasaan. Kaso it's too late para malaman kung nasaan yung location nila. The Lord has been taken down by Easy Force. That is still a level 1. Kaya kaya pang depensahan ng Eruption Squad with the help of this Farsa. And sa gitno, puntikan pang mapik of dito yung farsa natin. Luckily, may wings by wings para makatakas. Eruption Squad, as of now, has the lead, pero they still need to focus. Mari Atina, no? hindi pwedeng makampante kasi lumalaban pa rin naman at sumasabay ang easy ports natin. Masabay na sa bayo, sarap sa pakiramdam ngayon ng eSports having the map control against Eruption Squad na may bonus pang ang Lord. Sabay yes, sabay sir! Or minion way dito the middle lane pati na rin kay Esmeralda controlling all sides of the map right now against Eruption Squad perfect position sana dito kaya sa Christoph kung sakali man may maligaw pero si Van may sariling plano spotting hmm? him with a jector hindi pa niya masyadong ginamit kaya sa Christoph jit kung do knock up pero dito yung YSS natin on the shocker just to reveal the position of the rest of the gun dito sa eSports pero look at that Jin Sanity masyadong malalim rin yung sasar ginamit para pantakas Pabilis na lang natunaw yung Lord. Nice defense coming from the side of Eruption Squad. Pero dito si Sagit, no! Nalimutan na weakness ng isang Esmeralda is true damage yung nagagaling sa mga marksman natin. They max and head sa free stop na naman. Masyado malalim weight of Drago. Walang follow up damage. Questionable move coming from the two. Pero dito, look at the Lord. double kill. Ang ganda ng execution and timing of spells dito. The jungling of damage control dito sa side of eSports secures a path for them to possibly take another turret or so Here, which is on the mid lane, mid -lane. Yes, Maring Atina, on the bottom lane nakuha nila yung ating uh, Esmeralda na umabot pa sa may middle lane dahil sobrang lagkit niya ng corrosion site ng 1-1 natin. Pero ang sirigot naman sa kanila ng easy points is that double kill para kay Beerus. And tulad nga na sabi ko, hindi sila pwedeng makampante on this match kasi nga nakakasabay pa yung easy points. Yes, Eruption Squad yung nakakalamag sa kill pero look at the gold net worth of both of them. Easy points takes the lead with 36,000 gold and item wise mas maganda na or actually gumanda na yung item ng Claude natin dito na meron ng golden staff kaya naman pala yung mga damage yung blazing do it kaya kanina talaga namang bumabakat na sa katawan ng membro ng eruption squad yung 1-1 naman natin dito kumuha na kagad siya ng kanyang si Halberd whilst yung ating yes and she with the BOD going endless battle hindi ko pa siya masyadong nararamdaman on every team fight ang napapansin ko lang sa kanya is the mountain shocker ayan Yes, and kita naman natin yung lapu-lapu natin. Kanina nakakasagot na siya sa itemization or even the damage. And going in for the BOD. Pero wait, hold up to. At si Davito, Winter Trash, or inactivate. Pero magiging enough para makapagtakas. Pero he's a priest of Sinazosolo. Yung mga damage na binibigay dito ng eSports. Unti-unti silang naku-corner dito. Baymax and very evident, sabi nga ni Ate Beam na eruption squad dahil hirapan sila kung paano i-turn yung win condition into their favor right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, and right now, Easy Force is actually trying to shatter the confidence ng Eruption Squad ulit, Maring Atina. Sinusubukan na naman nilang uh, basagin yung uh, concentration dito ng ating Eruption Squad. And as of now, I think nagiging successful naman sila because most of the time na makakakuha ng kill yung Eruption Squad natin, ang nangyayari, Easy Force nagka-counter attack on every team fight. Nakita naman natin doon muntikan si Heso Christoph ma-pick off. Ang ganda ng map control ng Easy Ports dito and kailangan na mag-ingat ng Eruption Squad since most of their jungle camps are being cleared by Easy Ports. Nagaharasan lang. Talagang friendly banter lang guys. So, iwasan natin yung sobrang hot na hot tayo. Pero dito guys, dito naman natin, there will be a diversion papunta sa Oh. Kala ko tutuloy, so cancelled out yun. Cancelled out? Uh, kala ko po pata sila actually na mabilisan doon sa jungle side ng Lord. Pero right now, Leon, sinisimulan na lang din. Almost 80% HP left for the Lord. This is the second Lord or Luminous Lord na to, mga kaibigan. Ito Ako. Na may, Kailangan nila agawin to. Jumping Lord. Pero dito si Hesopristo, masyado naging kikil si Jin Sanson. Si Jin Sanson? Oh! Pero 
kukuha pa rin ng Claude natin, yung Lord natin, takbuhan na, ang sagot dito, pero ayaw nang pauhin dito ni Nav, si Jesus Cristo. Meanwhile, Saka. every number cornered out right now, gustong lumipat sa game number 3, sinamahan pa ng TV dito, nila Jureb, or Kirush pati, nila Van, Jitsu Duda, Kuya Tung Dragon? Ah, mapapunish dito ng eSports, and look at Van here, talaga napakalalim yung pag-dive niya. This is a basketball kit pa rin. Baymax at kita naman natin eruption squad ayaw magpadaig walang nangyaring kamatayan doon mga kaibigan extended yung team fight kada jump nila even Jin Sanity I thought he was mm -hmm. ano eh he was able to uh, score the one pero mm -hmm. the retribution from Mabibis. the Leon or Claude talaga namang the hero master himself sabi niya Napanood ko na yan sila. Napanood ko na yung agaw eh. Tama ka dyan. Yes. Another team fight is happening on top lane. Next shocker. Laglatag doon. Pero sinasalo lahat ng bala na binibigay dito ni Leo. BM ay up. Let's make the end. Oh my gosh. The Lord is still alive. Virus with the rest of the gun. Punishing one member. Which is si DJ Khalid natin. Walang another one na magaganap dito. Sinamahan pa ng mga recall plus the speaker. And all lanes have been pushed. The Lord. Nabilis bang natunaw. Pero nagawa niya na yung trabaho niya. May mga esports right now. Nakaw, tinatapos talaga rito. Naramdam with the perfect star. Mula sa order ng mga HP dito. Ng eruption squad. Winter Tronchon. It's up and push right now. Ayan na! Grabe! Tina, that very last team fight, yun na...